I can't wait to see you today. I know you'll be perfect. You already are perfect. Perfect for me, so let's enjoy today. Let's smile, let's cry, let's celebrate, let's dance, but most importantly, let's say I do. I love you to the moon and back. Your soon to be husband, your loving groom. Bye. Brian, Mi Amore, today I become your wife. I've been looking forward to this day for several years. When I think back to when we first started dating, I remember wanting to tell you I love you after only a few months, but I was too afraid to ruin the perfect relationship we were building together. When you told me you loved me for the first time, I waited to return my feelings because I wanted to be sure you knew I really loved you. And that 1,904 days, check my math, she's notoriously uh, bad at math, that I have spent building our relationship with you. I've learned so many things. I can't, I can't stay mad at you for long. You're one of the most caring people I know and hardworking. You share a love for our babies, which is our dogs, and few will ever understand our love for them. I think Blake Shelton said it best when he said, God gave me you. I truly believe this to be the case for us. I love you more than I can put into words. See you soon, my groom. Love, Poopers. The truth is that marriage at the start is an empty box. You must put something in before you can take anything out. A couple must learn the art and form the habit of giving, loving, serving and praising, thus keeping the box full. By the power vested in me by the state of Georgia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And Brian, would you like to kiss your wife? You, you may do so. I'd like to be the first to present Mr. and Mrs. Brian Lee. Nothing so sure, quite so steady. I'm gonna live my life to keep the promises I made. Even though I make mistakes, I know I'm ready. I promise to found our marriage by being faithful to you, honest with you, and decisive alongside you. I promise to respect you always, appreciate your actions, and cherish you for the precious person that you are. I promise to always keep you warm, even if it means giving you my jacket, my shirt, or packing a sweater for when you forget. I promise to make joy and laughter an important part of our household. I promise to tell you when you're being too competitive when we play board games and other sports, and maybe, maybe let you win every so often. I promise to always consider you and our families a primary priority and to honor you with all my actions and my decisions. I promise to not get upset the day that you bring home a puppy or a stray dog. And lastly, I've loved you since the day I met you. And I promise to love you with every last beat of my heart. He said he changed his life to be my man. So he bought a ring and took my hand. Brian, I promise to laugh with you and to cry with you, to lift you up when times are bad to comfort you in times of frustration and sorrow, including when the Braves lose a big game. I promise to listen and encourage you, even if it's just for you to vent about your day, or maybe what belongings of yours that Fat Joe has chewed up because you left them lying around the house. I promise to not complain when you want to add bacon or mayo to your burgers, and to maybe even keep some in the house. I will encourage us to try new things, even when I think it may be out of our realms of expertise. I promise to be honest with you and to trust that you always have the best intentions, no matter, no matter the circumstance. I will consider your priorities as if they were my own. I promise to cheer you on when you think you've hit a roadblock. And most of all, I promise to love you through thick and thin, forever and always. And now I get to go by his side. I'm lucky and I'm ready. Never been so sure, quite so steady. I'm gonna live my life to keep the promises I made. Even though I make mistakes, I know I'm ready. For better.